Yeah, hello YouTube. Just a little update here on the Craftsman C3 batteries. Since I determined that there is uh, actually battery cell balancing on the circuit board inside the battery pack, it should be possible to charge one of these batteries off of the uh, something like your an IMAX B6 lithium battery charger. One of the reasons I wanted to do that is so I can actually measure what the charge, discharge and charge voltage and uh, capacity is. I uh, noticed the starting voltage was about 16.95 volts after uh, this battery shut off automatically. So it seems like they, they go pretty low. I was uh, surprised to see it down that low, but anyway, I'll run it on the charger and see what kind of capacity we get. I'm charging at one amp, uh, five series cells, one amp, and it's uh, about 10 minutes now, 160 milliamp hours. And this way I'll get a reading on what the... Uh, capacity of these battery packs. They label them as 24 watt hours on the bottom side, but I'll see, you know, I don't know what voltage they um, use as a reference. You know, if they use 16 volts, that's 1500 milliamp hours. If they use 18 or 19.2 volts, that's 1250. Uh, so it's hard to tell what the uh, actual milliamp hour rating is, but this way we'll know. This was a dead uh, shut off automatically with their battery shut off and I'll have it on the charger. We're up to 18.5 volts and we'll see what it reads when it finishes. Okay, uh, looks like this battery pack finished charging or at least shut off. Uh, it took like Looks like 68 minutes, uh, took 992 milliamp hours, so essentially one amp hour. And it shut off at 20.51 volts. The current dropped to zero, but the uh, IMAX is saying, not saying full, so apparently the battery management uh, system inside the battery pack shuts off. 20 and a half volts is uh, 4.1 volts times 5 cells so it looks like they must have a built-in uh, that battery management board must also handle seems like it handles the balancing and it also handles the shutoff uh, for the whole uh, charging cycle, which is interesting. So I guess that's how they can use the same uh, uh, charger for both NICADs and lithium. They seems like they put all the lithium charging intelligence into the battery pack, which probably explains why that's such a complicated uh, circuit board in there. So it's interesting, just... Um, just uh, seeing what all they do. So they're, yeah, it looks like they're doing 4.1 volts per cell, probably keeping the voltage down. And I noticed that I'm getting, or I noticed that uh, the Craftsman batteries have a little bit less run time than I get out of my modified Black & Decker batteries, because those I'm getting close to 1800 uh, 1700 milliamp hours. Here I'm only getting a thousand milliamp hours, so uh, definitely they are not pushing their batteries quite as hard. I imagine they're doing that to keep a longer lifetime. Because uh, I think this this particular battery pack, this is one of the ones I purchased maybe five, six years ago, and it still runs fine, so uh, it's been recharged many, many times. So it's just interesting to see how uh, 
craftsman is dealing with lithium batteries. They seem to uh, have a lot of intelligence built into those battery packs. And the only way you find those things out, because uh, if I plug that into the craftsman charger, it just gets flashing lights and then it says it's charged and it doesn't really tell you what it did. So here I can charge it off the IMAX and actually see what happened. So just interesting, thought I'd pass along that information. Uh, if anybody else uh, has any experiences like that, uh, you know, drop a note in the comment section below. Uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos. Uh, if you found this information uh, interesting or helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and subscribe to the channel for updates, and um, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.